Uh, yo, what's going on everybody? Um, I wanted to bring you a quick video and this is about like naked shorting and shorting stocks and all that fun shit. So, briefly, I want to talk to you about the pandemic and when that happened and how much money actually hit the street during that period of time. Everybody thought they were like a part-time investor. Um, they knew something about it. They had Robin Hood on their phone and they collected four, five, eight, twelve grand in some cases. And they took all that money and they dropped it in. And at that point in time, you saw people all dropping their money in. Scott, uh, stocks were skyrocketing. Like Zoom was, for example. It went up like fucking 800% in a couple days. And who couldn't see that one coming at the time? It was like the biggest craze. Everybody was talking about their Zoom conferences and Zoom calls. And like I've talked to you about how... The market is not a reflection of how good a company is or how good a stock is. Or all it has to do with how much money and popularity is collecting into that stock. So, for example, Zoom really had no way of actually making money. Had people just dumping their money into it because they thought, you know, fundamentally, they were correct. With that being said... Let's move into naked shorting. Naked shorting has become quite the epidemic to the stock market. And honestly, I feel like the SEC, although they say it's not legal, has turned their cheek to any legality for a reason. The incredible bubble that's existing in the market today. Now, if anybody tells you that the market isn't a bubble and actually believes that the stock market went up after Donald Trump left another seven fucking thousand dollars and it was a reflection of what was going on in the market and everything, that's just such bullshit, all right? That money was reflected in the stock market directly all right the dow jones if you don't recall properly dropped all the way down to i think it was like 22 or twenty-three thousand dollars when it was at an all-time high of like 28 on that flash crash that happened on march 22nd now granted everything bounced back up relatively quick not immediately but relatively quick people were scared they pulled the money out of the market but what I'm trying to say is if the economy actually shut down at that point in time, if you went on the highways, you didn't see cars at all. There was no gas burning. There was no reason for oil rigs to be pumping as much gas. There was no reason to, uh, I mean, there was reason to have like coal and all those different types of energy because, you know, people were at home and spending more energy than ever. However... The economy, in all essence, was shut down. And if you ever shut it down for even more than a couple of days, you're going to see a huge impact, huge, reflected in the stock market. Especially if they don't give you cash, hand over fist. Like what happened. So when the money was given to them, hand over fist... And I know my hair is all uh, fucked up, but I don't really give a fuck. But money was given to these people hand over fist, and they were putting it into the stock market. They created a ballooning effect. Yeah, I mean, like, literally, you, you can't hide the numbers. When you're just pouring money into the stock market, you're filling it up. It's like filling up the bucket. And so that's really what happened. So when I was talking about just a moment ago with naked shorts, you know, kind of having the blessed avenue into the uh, stock market is because they have to allow it. If there's nobody shorting it, they'd have to shut off sales of a lot of these stocks. And what would happen? Random stocks would just start taking off. And that's what their problem with all this is. You see, the stock market right now protects our entire economy because 
parts of our economy are tossed into it in every single direction. So, is it a necessary evil? I mean, we can cry about it all we want, but as long as the customers that wanted to sell things short have always had the opportunity and they haven't been penalized for it at all. There has to be a reason why they're turning their cheek to this. We know the numbers. But like I said, we have those numbers because we were given cash at one time. Consider that. Was it a way to suck our money back in and hold our money? Because if they're allowing them to bury it in the dark pool, who's catching half of that? Catch you later, y'all.